Sam Yang, if you know, you just know. But do you know about a Sam Yang 35mm f1.2 for Fujifilm? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this 35mm then. Let's crack it open. Typically, we've got warranty, instruction manual, a nice little drawstring bag. Now, nice pinch cap there, which is my personal favorite. Now, these lenses, of course, all look the same across the range, which is nice. You know you're picking up a Samyang lens there. And it's got that nice, high quality plastic, solid feel to it with that solid metal mount that I think we're seeing across the Samyang line. The aperture ring clicks along nicely from one, two to 16. The manual focus ring is actually easier to use than the 50 mil version. It's just as smooth, but it's a bit more responsive. It's not quite so much hard work. The lens weighs 590 grams. It's a good little balance on the T2. Yeah, of course, a little bit heavier than some of your other lenses, but that's nice and workable, nice and maneuverable. This is as close to a standard nifty 50 as you might want to get. 35 mil equivalent full frame, 52.5 mil. Now, of course, that's an extremely handy focal length to have in the kit bag or glued to your camera. But what you're here for really is the F1.2. Of course, you haven't got weather resistance with this lens. You do get a decent 62 mil filter thread and nice close-up focusing of 0.38. So decent, very usable. For almost the same retail price as the Fujifilm 35, I think 1.4, but the 35 F2 weather resistance. I know some of you out there will probably be comparing them, but this is a 1.2, let's just say that. This is a solid lens. It's not weather resistant like the 35, f2 from fujifilm it's not got the autofocus advantages either of that or the 1.4 but you're letting in more light and in photography especially the kind of stuff you're going to be shooting with this manually that's the winner more light is always best nah, controversial now with this lens i found in testing which i'm going to throw up in just a moment that wide open it was very decent, very sharp, nice, creamy. I'm gonna use that word again that I used in other Sam Yang videos, earthy sort of, not gritty, gritty is not a fair word because it's a smooth bokeh, but it's got something to it. It's not airy fairy, but you can make it work out. It's almost got that hipster video vibe to it, but you know what? Decent, maybe a little vignette in wide open typically, but you can correct that. No real distortion or chromatic aberration problems to mess about with. So overall, IQ, big thumbs up, at least from my personal opinion. Let's throw up some samples and on the other side, just have a quick summary about this thing and then open it up to you guys, especially if you've tried out this Samyang lens or any others. Let's just get it out of the way. This Samyang lens is cheaper than the autofocus offerings from Fujifilm. Yes, it's all manual focus, doesn't have weather resistance, but it lets in more light and that should be what counts. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I do love the Fujifilm lenses completely, the 35 F2 and the 1.4. The 1.4 I use very, very regularly. And I'm not saying I would replace my 1.4 for this at all, but all things considered, this is possibly 
my second favorite Samyang lens that I've tested so far. Now, as you probably guessed, we're doing a trio at the moment, the 21, 35, and the 50, and I'll put it out there. I think this is my favorite of the three. This is a lens that's easy to use, easy to focus, nice and smooth, works beautifully wide open, what more do I need to say really? I'm sure this one's gonna bring up a few interesting comments, but please be open-minded. These Samyang lenses are very nice. And yes, this one is very close to the price of the closest Fujifilm autofocus offerings, but it's a different feel, it's a different vibe. And if you're happy with manual, well, if you're not happy with manual focusing, then you're probably not. <laughs> you probably haven't got this far and I'm, I'm probably not talking to you. Anyway, subscribe, let us know what you think, if you've tried this out or if you fancy giving it a go. Sounds like the police are coming, so I'm off. I mean the Fuji Geek police. <laughs>